In my last video, I concluded that a pillager outpost is not able to be a fast XP source. I was wrong. This may be one of the most ridiculous XP grinders you have ever seen, and I believe is perhaps the fastest single dimension XP grinder available. Furthermore, it's very simple and it's an early game farm. It spawns about 130,000 pillagers an hour and gives you way more XP than you would ever need. It's stupid fast. So how does it work? Well, the trick came from Ian X04 with his mob switch video. He explains that any pillager within 96 blocks of an ongoing raid will join that raid, and thus they will not count towards the mob cap. After that, it's pretty simple. Our spawning limitations due to elevation are overcome by providing a huge amount of locations where pillagers can spawn. The pillagers auto pathfind to the bubble column to try to shoot the villager in the center which makes the collection system very simple. We don't have to worry about time to kill decreasing efficiency because the mob cap is bypassed. Furthermore, only pillagers can spawn near an outpost, so no mob proofing is necessary in the farm, and only a small amount is necessary outside of the farm due to a high AFK platform. And that's it. 93,000 spawning spaces and an ongoing raid with a simple collection system and we crash the server. No problem. But we should, you know, not crash the server. The full-blown version of this farm is total overkill. It's fun to see running, but in practical terms, it's pointless to have such a fast XP farm because you won't be able to absorb all the excess XP. So here is a better solution. We reduce the amount of platforms and the size of the platforms. With six smaller platforms, we are very fast and running at the max XP absorption rate. In fact, when testing the farm, we obtain 125% more XP than the iGev and Enderman farm, which is currently perhaps the most popular XP grinder. That's more than twice as fast. It's not too difficult to build and is mostly an early game farm. The most demanding requirements are soul sand and villagers. This runs on my computer at about five to seven milliseconds per tick. So while somewhat demanding, it should be decently okay game performance on most modern computers. I'll throw a world download on the Discord server if you want to check it out. There are other farms that produce the same level of XP like more advanced stacking raid farms, but for a fairly simple design that's easy to build and gives you max rate XP absorption, this is a good option, particularly the six layer version. If you're curious about the design process, my last video talks at length about optimizing pillager outpost farms, but I made a mistake at the end, which is part of the reason I made this video. I concluded that the pillager outpost farms are just limited and not able to be extremely fast, regardless of the raid mechanic. This was just totally wrong, as we can clearly see. To be clear, nothing in the video is wrong, except that, I mean, I just didn't push it far enough. I somehow got stuck in the thinking that only one spawning platform was possible, where it's obviously not true. I'm honestly not sure how I got confused with this. Just a case of blinders and hyperfocus, I guess. I knew better, but somehow missed the huge pink elephant in the middle of the room. Even so, we got there in the end with the help of some great people like Blackrobe and other commenters. Then we just kind of stumbled into this very fast grinder, which turned out to be a lot of fun. But this is a lesson as to why it's important to collaborate and talk with others. I personally like to try to figure out these problems myself and enjoy the process and challenge. But in the end, working with others will always be better. With that said, if you want to work together with some others, join the Discord server. Maybe you have something else to correct me on, or maybe you need help figuring out something. Or maybe you just want to chill and play Minecraft with some awesome people. We even do community events like chess, poker, and other game tournaments. But with that said, thanks to BlackRock and everyone else who called out my error. As always, thanks to my Patreon supporters, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.